Hey everyone, it's Courtney here with Juju Be Gone. I'm thrilled to be a part of the Modern Talks hosted by Modern Sanctuary. I wanted to personally thank Alexandra, who is the owner and operator of Modern Sanctuary in New York City. It is a spa unlike any other. It really integrates beauty and wellness and science and has this amazing all salt room. Um, I'm, I'm bummed that I don't live in New York. I'm in Denver, but really appreciate her um, inviting me and uh, actually supporting small businesses like Juju Be Gone and um, having us in her spa. So we can't wait for you guys to all be back and and be uh, enjoying all of our services and products like my own. So today she asked me to come and chat with everybody about um, smudging 101 and what that looks like for your home as we're all stuck inside and uh, trying to get through the sanity of the day. So for those of you who don't know what smudging is, it's actually the act of burning sacred herbs and resins um, for a, a ceremony of sorts. So um, for me, smudging is really a personal process and a personal um, ritual. Uh, there are so many uh, tools out there for you guys to research and explore how you want to use this in your daily life or in your weekly life or in your monthly life or however you want to incorporate this. But there are so many resources out there for you guys to look at. So whether you look at my website, you should be gone, or just anywhere on the web on the um, internet, just uh, definitely research what feels authentic to you. Um, one of the products that I offer is called uh, Juju Black, and this is also available at the spa. But Juju Black is my elevated smudge kit, and inside we've got our Glendora candle, which uh, consists of, or smells of, uh, wood sage, sea salt, and peonies. It's amazing. Uh, we also have a bundle of sage in here, a um, stick of Palo Santo that I'll get into, and then a wand, uh, a selenite wand crystal. It also has this uh, customized chic little tray that you can place all of your smudging elements on and then some unique little vintage style matches with different sayings like ignite your soul or um, peace, love, and good juju. So this all comes with a, a little set of instructions of what you're getting and why and is really beneficial to kind of the tools you need to smudge your home. And it's, it's a little sassy, smudge that negative shit right out of your life. Um, which we call use right now, right? So I wanted to get started today to talk to you a little bit about what's inside the box and how you can use these in your everyday life. Um, so let's get started with the first element, which is sage. Um, so burning sage, again smudging, is an ancient ritual established by uh, the Native Americans, and they used it in cultural and tribal processes and practices throughout um, their their everyday life. Um, many people across the world use sage today, and it's really used to cleanse um, that negative energy and welcome the positivity into your world. Um, I personally wanted to thank um, all the peoples of the Native American um, culture just because they, they are allowing us to use these tools and explore them in different ways that are um, good for us. Uh, I also wanted to just, you know, make note that along with these tools and other tools, we need to be mindful of how we're using these. They are sacred um, natural elements that are, you know, typically being harvested and sourced in um, not always ethical ways. So just be sure that you work with manufacturers and vendors who um, pay homage to, you know, where they came from and, and how people are sourcing them in the world. So I use sage for cleansing my home, my body, um, helping elevate my mood, whether I'm feeling stressed, which is, you know, quite often these days, or overwhelmed with trying to manage everything um, and just kind of getting that negativity out of my space and out of my life. I, I really try and get rid of all the bad juju and that's how I turned to Sage. So a few of the ways that people can and have incorporated Sage into their life um, are that one, they, they really use it, again, to purify the space. So most uh, most sage has an antimicrobial, microbial, sorry, um, property that 
really helps keep bacteria and um, viruses at bay. It's been a proven study that 94% of bacteria and viruses in the air um, get killed after you burn sage. So it's so important right now that we're actually <laughs> burning this daily to keep bad things out of our house and keep us all safe. Um, so as I like to say, burning a sage a day keeps the bacteria away. <laughs> Don't know if uh, that's gonna work, but hey, that's what I believe. Um, sage has also been known to relieve symptoms and conditions around like allergens. Um, you know, maybe there's pet dander in your house and you're allergic to it or pollution in the air or dust and mold, things like that that um, are hard for people who have asthma and allergies and bronchitis. So um, sage really helps to eliminate those types of um, allergies. And I would just recommend that uh, obviously once you light the sage and the smoke is going, that anybody with these types of um, illnesses or allergies don't inhale smoke, but they wait until the smoke dissipates and then they can reap the benefits of um, just leveraging that those great uh, powerful cleansing properties in sage. So it can also be used as a spiritual tool. I don't know how spiritual everybody is, but really it helps connect us to a desired realm or enhanced intuition. Um, a lot of people use sage when they're meditating and to just take pause in their daily life. Uh, you know, really, whether you're spiritual or not, just taking a moment of peace and setting your intentions and um, practicing practicing kindness in the world. I mean, that's it's what connects us to each other and to a higher power and a power, higher energy. Um, it's also been known to dispel negative energy. So, um, you know, it's the perfect way to get rid of that bad juju and say from, from traumas to um, really anything that you're going through, traumatic events and just stress. Use this to rid your your you know your your space and and soothe your soul and get rid of that bad that bad mojo right. Um, it can also enhance your mood and soothe your stress. So again, like this is so important right now, right? We're all kind of dealing with these ups and downs of emotions and. Um, how you're dealing with stress daily is so important, but there have been studies documented that SAGE actually does elevate your mood. It can treat anxiety, depression, other disorders. Um, it has certain receptors in, in the properties when the smoke is going that really um, help to reduce the brain's you know, ability to create stress and then it help alleviate pain. Finally, it can boost your mood and your energy and improve your quality of sleep. So I think yes to all of that, right? <laughs> I think we all need those things and on a daily basis. So now I wanted to go into actual, the actual process of using sage and how you can smudge your house. Um, so first you take your dried um, bundle of sage. This one's obviously been used, but you light it with um, you know a lighter or matches, whatever you have available, make sure it's dried. Um, keep, keep the uh, fire going until you can really see the smoke. I don't know if you guys can see that smoke coming off. But I am lighting it, and then here, here comes the smoke. So you can see, blow on it to make it go, go and stay a little bit longer, right? Um, so how you start cleansing your home, uh, really if you think about what you're doing is you're getting rid of all that negative energy and bringing in the positivity. So I like to start at my front door. Um, it's also important, I feel, if you have the ability to open a couple windows while you're doing this, because if you think through how you're um, moving that energy from inside the home and welcoming in the positivity, you want somewhere for the negativity to go. So I start at my front door and I start from the ground and go to the top of the ceiling as high as I can go um, and then walk clockwise throughout my house. Um, just keep on going up and down and trying to hit as many corners as you can. Keep in your mind this clear intention. Some people chant, 
um, sing songs, really have whatever you're trying to do and bring into that space. It's so important to keep that open mind and keep thinking about what the sage is doing for you, for yourself, or for your space. Um, so even if you go upstairs, you know, continue to go clockwise. I, you know, up these stairs behind me, I go in my daughter's room and help kind of get rid of that negative energy. She's had some nightmares and trouble sleeping, so this really helps her. Um, I go in my bedroom, always try and go in all the dark areas, whether it's a closet or under the stairs or in pantries. So anywhere that you think you just need to get rid of that energy it takes me about 30 minutes. Again, I've been doing it every night uh, just with everything that's been going on. It's, it's kind of probably going to be a ritual that I move forward. I don't know if I'll be doing it every night um, after we're we're done with our um, stay at home, but uh, probably three times a week. It doesn't matter how much you do it. Some people do it once a quarter, once a year, once a day. So it's really up to you how you want to use this sage. Um, the other tool that you can use when it's burning is um, oops, I guess ashes everywhere. Um, is you can use a feather to walk the smoke. So of whether you want it on your body again, to help your mental processes and what's going on with yourself. Or if you want it in the space, you can obviously use the feather to walk that. Um, once you're done with the sage, you can just put it out. I have a little tray here, but you can just put it out in a tray. It will, it will eventually burn itself out, so you can reuse it a bunch of times, which is really nice. Um, and then Make sure you don't put it in any water. That's the last thing you want to do because it will ruin the sage and you won't be able to use it anymore. And just keep it in a dry location. Um, so that's really using sage, but there are so many other um, dried herbs that you can use from, you know, lavender and just, there's there's so many. Again, we can we can go into so many things. I use sage just more on the, for nighttime to cleanse the space. I've used it after um, parties. You know, it's a great hostess gift, like this little cleansing kit, because we all know how stressful it is when you have a bunch of people over cooking dinner and just want to get rid of all that energy and start fresh. Um, so just, you know, again, take these, take these tools and these rituals that uh, work for you in your own environment. Um, okay, so next I wanted to look at, um, here I'll show you this one, the Palo Santo. So Palo Santo translates into holy wood. That's literally the meaning of it in Spanish. And it is um, harvested from Palo Santo trees that are found primarily in South America and Central America. Um, they're actually part of the citrus family. So if you smell them, it has a sweet pine scent with mint and lemon. Um, some people have said it smells like um, wood cleaner on the floor, but I don't know. I love the scent. It kind of reminds me of burning a fire and like the cleanliness in the air. And it's really, um, it's just like a gentle scent that's great on um, your space and your energy and just elevates the room. So some of the benefits of Palo Santo, um, again, is it can be used to clear the negative energy out of your house. So I think there's a common thread here that a lot of these tools help expel bad stuff and bring in the good stuff because that's what we need. Deep breath out, deep breath in, right? Um, so thanks to the high resin content in Palo Santo, it's believed that it can actually release purifying properties when burned. Um, Palo Santo remo removes the negativity and obstacles and actually attracts good fortune. I mean, couldn't we all use a little bit of that right now, right? Um, so for, for this girl, small business, I'm always trying to burn this and bring on the good, the good vibes and the good fortune, right? So I'm sure all of us need that out there and could use a little of that. Um, Palo Santo is also used as a ritual. So we talked a little bit about that in the uh, beginning of how Rituals can be used in your daily life or however it's um, good for you. But, um, you know, if you crave routine and a way to decompress uh, the act of smudging or the process of lighting the stick and allowing the smoke to be released into the room can really be helpful in that regard. Um, it, it really allows for mindful intentions to be uh, put into the world and help shift that energy and really like 
just helping your thoughts and emotions and gain clarity. Um, some believe that Palo Santo can relieve headaches. So again, I feel like we see some similarities to sage, but you can burn Palo Santo or rub it on your temples. So we had another talk by um, Modern Talks and um, she had a lot of stress relieving um, tools that you could use from breathing and tapping and um, rubbing. So one was rubbing your temples and actually if you use a Palo Santo oil, um, put it in some water and rub it on your temples or if you wanted to burn it and kind of sit back and enjoy um, the aroma of it, it really does help um, re release those neurotransmitters like um, dopamine and serotonin and that actually stimulates the endorphins that act as the body's natural painkiller. So cool. Um, for the upcoming summer months when we can all be outside and enjoying everything again, Palo Santo is actually nature's little bug repellent. So it does have that complex chemical composition where bugs don't want to eat it. <laughs> um, so it's the, the kind of the um, plant's defense against insects. So I typically have it outside too instead of citronella candles. I usually have Palo Santo going. Um, it uh, smells like a campfire and keeps all those bugs away. So some of the other health benefits of Palo Santo are, are it helps ward off cold and flu. So, you know, I don't know if you're like me, but every time lately I've been sneezing or coughing or runny nose or anything, I'm just stressed out and wondering what it is. But when I need a moment's uh, reprieve, I light my Palo Santo and just breathe deeply and know that um, this can really help with congestion and sore throat and inflammation in the body. Um, and those are all signs of cold and flu. So again, another nature's way of keeping us all healthy. Um, if anyone's having stomach aches out there from stress um, or discomfort, the, again, the properties in Palo Santo really help with like nausea and bloating and cramping. So all of those fun things that we deal with, it's just good to have another tool on hand that might be able to help you guys. Um, and then above all, you know, stress, like we are dealing with it so much right now. And um, Palo Santo really purifies the air and helps the mind, um, tends to calm the nervous system, can help reduce feelings of anxiety, brighten your mood, and just energetically cleanse the space. So for me, um, I start my personal ritual with lighting Palo Santo every morning. So again, like for me, I do the Palo Santo in the morning. I, you know, either have it going when I take a shower and putting my makeup on and, you know, setting my intentions for the day, or I come downstairs and grab coffee and have breakfast with my family and light some Palo Santo because everybody loves the smell in the house. And I think it helps everybody with that focus and really inspiring creativity and encouraging love and good fortune and just like all the greatness that you want into your space on a daily basis. Um, so that is how I, you know, ignite the positivity and joy and burn Palo Santo. So the same way how you um, light sage is you use, a, you know, some sort of flame, whether it's the juju matches or a lighter, and just keep in mind that um, igniting the wood takes a little bit more time because it's not really a dried plant. So it does take a little bit longer to get the flame going. Um, you can probably start to see the smoke coming a little bit, maybe, maybe not. Um, try and get this lit. I light it a lot, so it takes a little bit of time to light it. As you can see, here we go. That's my favorite. <laughs> So here we go. So now you can see that the Palo Santo is lit. Again, you can lightly blow on it. Um, use the same tools, whether you want to use a feather and bring the smoke into your aura, your body, your, your, you know, your personal space, whether you just want to put it on a tray and let it burn throughout your house. Um, or you want to use it in the same way as you use the sage to actually cleanse your space because you can walk through your house and use this as well. I typically just use it where whatever room I'm in and once it, um, once it goes out, it'll eventually go out. I didn't light it enough, so it went out already. But um, you can also use this the same way where you put it out in a tray or in sand 
Um, but make sure it's obviously not still lit when you leave the room and use your trendy or exciting little um, tools to bring on that positivity in your space. Um, the third thing, I have, I have these wands everywhere. The third thing I wanna talk to you guys about is selenite. Um, a selenite crystal is one powerful little crystal. Um, it's a tool used for energy cleansing, meditation, healing, just tons of powerful positivity in this little wand. Um, it's referred to as liquid light just because it has the ability to unblock stagnant, unwanted energy and promote healthy, smooth um, energy flow and throughout your body, throughout your home, throughout wherever it is. Selenite has been found throughout the world, so it's um, pretty easy to get a hold of, you know, locations including Mexico to Russia to Greece to France to U.S. So, um, you know, the, the world, uh, the universe is providing us this powerful little stone and crystal, and we should use it. So using it to dispel the negative energy from your system, bringing on the calm, um, helps with mental clarity. I should probably use it right now. And uh, it really helps you in meditation. These, uh, these wands are great for your house too, right? So um, whether you want to like cleanse your, your own self or keep it in a room and cleanse the space, they just sort of suck up all the bad and help get rid of all that negativity. Um, one way that you can really use this is you can hold it um, above your body and you know close your eyes and just feel the power of the crystal you can move it through over your body and feel that energy flow so if you're feeling a little tired or stressed um, need need a recharge of any of your chakras um, this really does help energize your body and you can hold it you can lay it on you know if your heart's a little if you're brokenhearted or you just need a little energy, you can put it throughout your body to increase clarity, to energize your heart and soul, um, helps relieve stress. I use it on my daughter. She's almost 10. So every night she's been, not every night she's been having nightmares, but she's been having nightmares a lot and I use it on her. So I'll have her kind of close her eyes and I'll definitely do this a couple times over her body and she can feel that energy with her eyes closed. And I tell her it sucks out all the bad, uh, the bad dreams and helps her go to sleep. Um, I also use it on my nightstand. So I probably shouldn't, but I keep my cell phone by me and it absorbs all those like electromagnetic properties and you know just kind of eats everything up that's bad and holds on to it and gets rid of it for you so obviously this is a very powerful little crystal i call it the um <laughs> the gateway crystal right it's like a great one to have and then um get into there's so many other crystals that are so great for different elements in your life whether you're wanting romance or fortune or, you know, forgiveness. So just, I would highly recommend starting with the selenite and then seeing how this works in your everyday life and keeping it in spaces of your home that need some good energy and, you know, kind of if there's negativity in any room, keeping one there, whether it's a wand or there's a bunch of selenite lights out there. Um, so really whatever works in your personal space. But um, I have one on me all the time. I even carry one in my purse when I go outside <laughs> when I was. Um, so again, just a great crystal. And then since they are so absorbing of all the negativity, I recommend cleansing them so you can cleanse them when you get your sage going use the smoke from your um, sage to smudge the crystals and then I don't know if anybody saw last night but it was the big um, pink pink moon the full moon so it was closest I think it's going to be the earth since uh, in 2020 it was very powerful so I put all my crystals out there and you can leave it out in the, the full moonlight for six to twelve hours um, you can also put it in a bowl of dry rice if you want to for four to six hours and that helps energize them again so it is really important to cleanse these um, selenites and your crystals because they do a lot of work to help on the outside and they they need some recharge too so um, that is 
the tools or the, that are the tools that I use and wanted to give you a little insight of how you could use those in your home. Um, I'm definitely not an expert in smudging. I, um, you know, kind of came into it. I'm definitely a spiritual person. And one of the reasons that I created my company is because I, I truly believe in all of these tools and I wanted to be able to provide um, other people like myself and like you out there a, a way to learn how to use these rituals in your everyday life, um, whether it's, you know, a, a simple candle that can elevate your mood or using um, a pendulum that you can, ask, you know, ask questions to with a crystal on the end or smudge kits or really um, sending, you know, a bigger gift box to somebody that could be going through a hard time, which I think we all are right now. So um, I just, you know, would love you guys to check out my company, jujubegone.com. Um, we've got gifts to really ignite good vibes from, you know, how to break a streak of bad luck to new homes to breakups to new beginnings, self-care, wellness, care packages. So um, again, I wanted to thank um, Alexandra with Modern Sanctuary who had me on here today. I'm so grateful that um, she supports me and believes in me and I'm here to support her and anything I can do. And I just wanted to um, send, you know, peace, love and good juju from my home here in Denver to all of you out there. And keep on smiling and we'll get through this and um i'm here if anybody ever needs me just email me courtney at jujubecon.com thank you guys i appreciate the opportunity